You knock these pins down with the ball of imagination. Beyond them is another dimension. A dimension of sound. A dimension of sight. A dimension of mind. A land of both shadow and substance. Of things and ideas. This isn't the Twilight Zone you know. You've just crossed over into the U.S. Open on CBS Sports Network. The kids in Wichita, Kansas are out. After all, it's Halloween. That house looks pretty spooky. And we welcome you to North Rock Lanes in Wichita, the host of the final major of the 2018 PDA Tour season, the U.S. Open, a place in bowling history awaits the winner here tonight. Here are the five bowlers in our stepladder format. We start tonight with Marshall Kent, looking for his first career major against England's Dom Barrett. He's won six career titles, including one major. EJ Tackett, a lot on the line tonight, a chance to complete the career triple crown, perhaps win player of the year. The number two seed, Christopher Prather, he bowled collegiately at Wichita State, knows these lanes well. Lone lefty, Jacob Buttrip, the top seed at the U.S. Open for a second straight year. Now my Hall of Fame broadcast partner, Marshall Holman, has two U.S. Open titles. Let's go back to 1981, a 200-179 win in Houston over his good friend Mark Roth and Marshall was celebrating because that was two titles in a row that season. His second US Open four years later over Wayne Webb, part of his legendary, historic Hall of Fame career. And now Marshall Holman is lane level, joined by our top seed, Jacob Buttrick. Thank you, Dave. I'm here with our tournament leader, Jacob Buttrip, and this is his second year in a row, leading by over 600 pins. Do you feel like this is your time for redemption? Absolutely. Uh, we have a, a very stacked stepladder finals this year, and I know it's going to be a tough one to go out there and be able to put up the good game, but I, I feel this is my time. Redemption is definitely here. Okay, one more thing. Last year, you had a couple lefties bowling in front of you. They were tracking the lanes. You were watching them as they were bowling. Today, it's all right-handers. What are you going to do for the next hour or two? Obviously, just go out there and stay loose. Uh, obviously, I won't have to watch too much, not worrying about the transition on the TV show. But I must go out there and see what I need to see in the practice shots and give it the best game I got. All right, Jacob. He led this tournament by over 600 pins. He dominated this particular surface. I like his chances. Thanks so much, and Jacob, thanks for the time. So going back to last year, Jacob Buttruff had a tremendous lead, 6-17 in Syracuse, but he lost in the championship match to Rhino Page. Jacob Buttruff this year, plus 552, heading in to the championship match. Welcome back, Marshall. Thank you, Dave. Marshall Holman has made his prediction. I'm going to keep you to that in our championship match. Oh, absolutely. First, 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 first. Marshall Kent, Dom Barrett. Good start. 26-year-old from Yakima, Washington, but recently closed on a house in Las Vegas. Yeah, he said he's moved in, but yeah. he hasn't spent a night there yet. He moved, he moved in, and then an hour later, he left. <laughs> to come here to Wichita to try to make the show, which he did. Now he faces Dom Barrett, 33 years old, from Colchester, England. Just a few years ago, he was the number one player in the world. This is a, this is a very confident professional player here. Wow, good start for each. All 10 back. All right, Marsh, let's break down lane conditions. Our future for the sport oil pattern tonight. Well, as you can see, it's a 43-foot pattern. It's high volume. The scoring base has been low. If you get the ball to the right too soon as a, as a right-hander, it just does not track back. Different lane conditions throughout qualifying and match play. We have seen four three hundreds throughout the U.S. Open. Second shot, Dom. Wow. They're really keeping the ball on line, not, not letting the ball go too far to the right. As I said earlier, there's out of bounds to the right. Four career titles, but Marshall Kent in search of his first career major. He's an All-American at Robert Morris College in Chicago. And 
the 2014 PBA Tour Rookie of the Year. What young talent Marshall Kent is, our five seed tonight. Well, they're both off the hot starts, and I really think the key for Marshall Kent is his speed control. I've seen him occasionally get a little bit amped up, throw the ball past the pocket, but so far he's looking great. We'll take a look at Marshall Kent's form. Look at that high backswing in great position to accelerate through the ball. And a dead solid plus shot. These guys have not missed yet at all. Numbers for Marshall Kent. And that ball was further to the right. It didn't Ooh. pick up. Leaves the 2-10. 2-10 split to the first challenge. Here on a spare conversion attempt for Marshall Kent. Needs to get the ball left of this two pin. We can just see it just, it does not make the hill. And that was more of getting the ball too far to the right than it was his feet control. Makeable. Tough one, man, leaves the 10. So we've got our first open frame of match number one here at the 2018 U.S. Open in Wichita. Any player who rolls a 300 game during tonight's telecast will receive a $10,000 bonus courtesy of GoBowling.com. Visit GoBowling.com to find local bowling centers. Get tips from the pros and for all the latest news and information about your favorite sport, bowling. See if Barrett can take advantage of that open. Makes a great a shot. Pin. That was a good shot. Six pin goes around the 10 pin. Get another shot of this. We'll see Dom puts the ball down, keeps it online nicely, doesn't get it too far to the right, but the second pin from the right, that six pin, is going to go right around the 10. Frustrating for, for bowlers, both professional and recreational bowlers. You know, you make a great shot, and 10 pin just laughs at you. There's the 10, there's the mark. Yeah, John Barrett told us last night, Marshall, in our meetings with him, that he feels very confident being on TV. He won in Japan this year. It's been a great season for him. But he was very honest about, even with a win tonight, he doesn't feel he deserves player of the year. I don't think I've ever heard that answer. I haven't. In professional sports. I haven't before. either. He was very honest about it. Do you agree with him? Well, yeah, for the most part. But, uh, you know, the, 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 voting, the voting members are fickle. We'll see. We'll see. He's got a long way to go before we can talk about him winning this tournament. This is just the first of four games tonight. Fortunate, and he gets the roll of the two pin. Extra fortunate. That could have been a 2-10 like, like we saw from Marshall Kent, but it's a strike now. We'll take another look. You can see the head pin go to the sideboard, and then the two pin just mysteriously falls over. Well, it is Halloween. <laughs> There's spooks in the building. <laughs> All right, Marshall Kent trying to rebound. That's too far Whoa, to the right as well. Really started right and ends up in trouble again. Yeah, you two, could, four, ten. You could see it immediately. There, There is room on the lane to miss a little bit left, a little bit right, but it's very small. You can see this ball hits around the three board down the lane. Great cover. He makes it. Tremendous spare conversion to Marshall Kent. Well, he needed that. He needed that both for this to save the spare and to keep momentum. Here in the home of Wichita State Bowling, a lot of shocker players and fans are here tonight. Gets the ball left of the two pin. Slides it right into the 10. Looks easy. It's not. He knows it's close. Huge shot early in this match. Stay in touch. Marshall With Dominic Kent, top qualifier. 2016 in Vegas at this event. Had a hurry and a light hit and the 1-2-8. Not easy. He lost that year to Francois Lavoie. We call that in Vegas. Oh my gosh, yeah. And saw Francois with a 300 game. It was incredibly dramatic. Not as good a memory for Marshall Kent. Try to make new memories here, but it's not going to be easy. Yeah, we can see this ball just slipping too far to the right once again. Misses the break point. Comes in light enough that 
He leaves the very makeable one, two, eight easier than that split he just picked up. But will that get there? Nope. No. Yeah, chops that eight. And I, you know, I've seen, I've seen Marshall have have his issues on television before, and not unlike another Marshall from the Northwest who's talking to you right now. That ball just does not pick up the roll. Doesn't make the spare. He's right now. He's talking with Timmy Mack, his ball ref, trying to figure out what he needs to be doing. Now the big key here, Marshall, can Dom Bear take advantage of the mistakes we've seen from Marshall Ken? Well, he just rolled a two-pin, got a really good break, and follows that break with a great shot. That's how you do it. When your opponent's down, you've got to take advantage. Try to become the third foreign-born player to win the U.S. Open, joining Finland's Mika Koivuniemi in 2001, and Francois Lavois, aforementioned in 2016 from Quebec, Canada. Position by round. Yeah, D Dom was was right in the thick of it from the onset. I mean, 10th after the first round, they got into the top five, third, fourth, third, third, fourth, fourth. So uh, he was never ever really securely into that top five till till late last night, but uh, always in the neighborhood. Big lead to go up by 47. In our opening match here tonight from Wichita. That's how you do it. Continues to put pressure on Marshall Kent. And leads by 47 pins with a turkey. He's got a huge lead. Midway point, match number one from Wichita, the 2018 U.S. Open. Underway on CBS Sports Network. To hold it, Pete Weber. Chris Barnes, Ryan Simonelli. Ryan won in 2015. Leader by a round, Marsh. This greater has been fantastic. And Jacob Butcher really took over. No, he did. He took, he took over on our, on, our, on our fourth pattern. The same pattern that we're using on this evening's telecast, and that's one of the reasons why I think Buttrip is going to win this tournament. But uh, right now, Don Barrett having his way, a double, a spare, and then three in a row, and, and Jason, or excuse me, Marshall Ken needs to really right the ship now. All right, Marshall Ken, back up. A better direction. Leaves a solid 10. Talk he had with Tim Mack. Looks like it's paying dividends as far as getting back in the pocket. Another look at this shot. Better direction down the lane. That's a solid 10. There's his 10. There's his pair. This is Dave Ryan alongside Marshall Holman in the booth here at North Rock Lanes in Wichita, Kansas. 2018 U.S. Open on CBS Sports Network. Final major. The season of the PBA Tour. Marshall Kent, the five seed, facing Dom Barrett, the four seed. First match, step ladder finals. EJ Tackett is next, the three seed, awaiting the winner. Ten pin responds there, Dave. Back in a groove. Marshall Kent. Dom Barrett, very solid year. Victory coming in Japan. Defeated Kyle True, 267-204 to win the DHC Japan Invitational. Six career titles and one major for Dom Barrett. And he'd love to get back in the winner's circle. Again, he attends. Tremendous talent. That's, for, that's right. And just really f fortunate, just the two pin. That easily could have been a, a two ten combination, but uh, you know the co combination of being right, being good and being fortunate pays dividends out here. We'll take a look at this shot. It just goes down the lane way too far to the right. Down this lane, it should have been further to the left off his hand, but just a two pin. And this is a very easy spare for a professional. I give him about a 99.99% chance of making it. Those are good odds. <laughs> yeah, he and was, it takes care of it, no problem. He wasn't missing the two pin. Dom, one of foreign born players here in our <clears throat> championship round tonight. 17 different countries represented this year at the US Open in Wichita. 29 total international players, but one on our TV show to wrap up the US Open. 46 pin lead. Dom Barrett. 
Take advantage of back-to-back -back opens. Marshall Kent in the third and fourth frames. Works on a spare to the eighth frame now. Right now for Barrett, if he, if he stays clean and doesn't lose too much count, this is his match. Much better off its hand. That's how you stay clean, Marsh. That's, it, that's the best. The best mark is always a strike. Take another look at Tom Barrett. Very high backswing, solid at the foul line. Great direction down the lane. And there's your payoff. Marshall Kent. It's gone. It came back. My, gosh, I didn't... My bad. I thought that ball was gone to the right. He I... seemed surprised too by it, Marshall. Both, both Marshalls are in shock right now. He said, How does this one come out? I want to take another look at this. That's way right off his hand. Ball speed must have been down just a little bit for it to face up. <laughs> I did it. Not by much. He really throws it hard. Told us about his discussion with Dad Jim heading into the last block. He was having some trouble EJ. with his physical game, and yep. his dad really helped him. E.J. Tackett is up next. All 10 back there. 10-minute conversation. Jim really put him in the right direction. Marshall felt lost until that point. Wouldn't be on the show, he said, if it weren't for my dad taking a break from his elk hunting trip to come out of the mountains of Yakima, Washington. He was watching an extra frame online and said, you're doing this all wrong with the footwork. Let's change a little thing here. And yeah, really, it really, did and really helped yeah, him a lot. Right at the ship yesterday, and uh, Kent back in this match. 26 pin up, up steps Tom. Foundation frame to go by 36. Needs to make a solid shot here. That's solid enough. Twenty-two is the best that Marshall Kent can do. Look at the pin action. That's strong power. Ball takes out the five pin. He needs nine to shut out Marshall Kent. Advance to the next round to take on E.J. Tackett. Tom Barrett has got 10. He's got a win in our first match, and he'll climb the ladder to take on the former player of the year in E.J. Tackett, trying for his second player of the year honor in the last three years on tour. Tackett looked very, very confident yesterday. And uh, both bowling and in our interviews, I thought. Yeah, yeah, co confident and comfortable. Took a little different shot there. He moved in a little bit on the lane on, on his with his feet to the left, the ball to the left. That worked out nicely as well. Nice to be in a position where he could experiment a little bit on that second shot in the tenth. Strike here will put him at 258. Tom and wife Cassie back home in England, welcoming little Colby in about ten and a half weeks ago. Yeah. First baby. And Tom can't wait to get home. Different ball on the fill for Barrett. Why not? That works too. It's a good pin action. Little swishy strike to wrap it up. And a 258 for Dom Barrett. And he'll take on EJ Tackett here in Wichita next, climbing the ladder. Match number one between the fifth seed, Marshall Kent, the fourth seed, Don Barron complete. Don rolls 258 203 thanks to 10 strikes. He'll take on the number three seed and 12 time titleist, EJ Tackett. Next, welcome to Wichita and happy Halloween, one and all. Dave Brown alongside Marshall Holman, two time U.S. Open champ and Hall of Famer Don Barrett Marsh. Impressive in the first match. Well, he was very impressive, but he was also fortunate. The two shots that he didn't throw well. 
he just left the two pin. In fact, one of the shots he threw out the window, the two pin rolled. So he was very, very good, and he was a little bit fortunate as well. Big topic of discussion here in Wichita. If EJ Tackett wins here, takes home the U.S. Open, is he going to be player of the year? The vote comes up later on. I think so. I, I, I think if EJ wins a tournament, he will be the player of the year. Uh, if Jacob Buttruff wins, he's certainly right, right in the mix. And, uh, and still, you know, Dominic still has a chance. He still has a chance for player of the year, even though he doesn't think he has a chance. The, the voters do. And you made the call in a live interview, laying level with Jacob Butcher for our top seed, that he'd win tonight. What makes you so sure? Well, he, he was so dominant, especially early in the rounds. The, the, these lanes are fresh right now for Jacob Buttrip. He loves them when they're fresh. He's been shooting 250s, 260s, 270s the first couple games of every round. So I just, I, I mean, I could be wrong, but uh, I think it's Jacob's time. We're looking forward to it. Buttriff is the top seed, so he's got a while to wait here in Wichita before he has that one game going for his first career major championship. EJ Tackett, Dom Barron, head to head next. It's match number two from Wichita, the U.S. Open on CBS Sports Network. That's spooky, Marshall. Happy Halloween. I love the lights in the house there. I'm looking at the jack -o Someone went to a lot of hard work for that. Yeah. Pretty cool. Go bowling. Road to the finals. Marshall Holman. As we break down. Date. We know Tackett and Barrett are about to go head to head. Yeah, and Barrett, he did dominate Marshall Kent. 258, 203. We got Tackett and Barrett coming up next. And Chris Prather, who looked great all week. He was by far the most dominant right-hander. But waiting in the wings for that one game for the U.S. Open Championship. My man, Jacob Buttram. DJ Tackett. Only six bowlers have captured Boeing's Triple Crown. Tonight, EJ had a chance to become the seventh in 2016 on the PBA World Championship. 246-180 victory over Tom Smallwood. Oh, Very happy yeah. celebrating with his dad. Never forget that bear hug. Yeah. <laughs> it's just awesome. 2017 Tournament of Champions win. 208-203 victory over Tommy Jones, himself a past U.S. Open champ. EJ Tackett has done it all except the Triple Crown. And to join that list would be outstanding. Yeah, that's hit. a very select list. Just a few players, Harvick, Petraglia, Weber, Albee, Duke, and Chris Barnes. Uh, I was one tournament short, and uh, would have been a nice thing to have. Hardwick and Duke wrapped it up at the US Open. EJ mm -hmm. trying to become the third to do that. His first shot of the night from Wichita. EJ Tackett is in the pocket. I'll turn back. Playing a little bit left to where Don Barrett was playing the last game. Be interesting to see if they're chasing the oil left as the night progresses. You know, we talk about the transition of the oil on the lanes, and it's very, very important. And it's and these guys understand what they think is going to happen, and then they make their adjustments accordingly. We'll see if. Something distracted Dom Barrett. Whoever that is. So he'll put the, the ball down and start over again. At least, or I would, yeah, I would suggest when that happens, don't hang on to the ball. You know, put it down, start the whole process over. I don't know what it was that bothered him, but uh, he's regrouped. So we'll try this again. Ready to roll. That was down. Oh, crossing over. Very fortunate that ball and was left. Sometimes you get lucky. Well, it was left off his hand. It, it looked like it bounced, like he didn't get out of it out of it comfortably. Um, it's a great break, but now he has to regroup and try and make a solid shot. We'll take another look at this. Look at the ball as it goes down very early and just jumps left. And, uh, you know, he rolled a two pin the last game, and now he trips a six pin this game. So the break so far. All going Barrett's way. Using the same ball as last game. Not a break this time. Well, much. no. Now he comes in just a tiny bit high and leaves a 4-9. So he went from really being very fortunate to making a good shot and being penalized. 
He was the four seed in the 2015 U.S. Open, reached the title match, lost to Ryan Simonelli after beating Wes Milad and Norm Duke and Pete Weber to get there. We'll take a look at this 4-9 shot from a low angle. Now he's going to... He's almost kicked it across the deck, but misses the nine. That's yep. an open frame. Didn't cut it quite enough. Caught too much of the four pin. And now Tackett with the opportunity to throw the double on Barrett, take a 22-pin lead. EJ won it out, head to head against Don Barrett on TV. Won 33 pins, 299, 266 in high scoring match. Part of the round robin 2017 PBA Tour Finals in Orlando. You saw that on CBS Sports Network, won by EJ Tackett. When he gets a chance, he usually Ever takes advantage of it, back. but it hang on a minute. No, well, two, hang, four, hang, was, hang was the operative word because that's what happens when you throw the ball too far to the right for most all of the right-handers all week long. This ball just gets too far to the right off his hand. He has a lot of leverage, but not enough to bring that ball back. It passes the break point. The makeable 2-4-10. We saw Marshall Kent pick up that same split last game. And now we see E.J. Tackett with a great spare. What a pickup and cover for E.J. Tackett on 3C with a huge shot. When he needed it most here early in this match. Just beautifully cuts it over to the 10 pin perfectly with that two pin. And, and you can just, you can see it in his, in his, in his eyes and his facial expressions. He's comfortable doing this. 12 career titles, two majors to his credit. Must keep the ball online. Can't lose it to the right. Great shot. And boy, Wiggle just hung on there. And a single pin conversion coming up here for EJ. EJ, a great spare shooter. Shouldn't have any problem with this. Take a look at the same pesky little six pin. The, th the bottom of the 10 pin. And then a messenger almost came and knocked it over. He's got it. Weekdays at noon Eastern, Jim Rome welcomes you to the jungle for three hours of hot takes, high-impact interviews, and a steady dose of the clones. It's the Jim Rome Show on CBS Sports Network. Last time on this right lane, he crossed over. Let's see if he moves a little further to the left. Down 11. Third frame. Looks like he just made a better shot. Great He's shot. Stayed, stayed in the same area. Right in the one three pocket. And all 10 back into the pit. Look at Don Barrett, that high back swing, solid at the line. Not a lot of slide. This is where you want to put the ball, folks. High flush. Tale of two games, last time uh, against Marshall Kent, everything going Barrett's way. Last time on this left-hand lane, left the 4-9. Fourth frame, Don Barrett, 10 down. And a big shot to keep things very interesting here in match number two. DJ Tackett told us last night, during the 2015 World Championships, when he really figured out TV, I thought that was interesting. You won so many times. Well, I, I, I figured you out TV. To that. I had TV figured out immediately, and then I figured out how to lose later. <laughs> <laughs> Reverse order. Right, exactly. Ten down. And now, when he steps on the lanes for the show, he is very tough to beat. He said it was a matter of putting it all together. Not just the physical part, but the approach, the day of the show, what you do leading up to the show, how you practice, athletes, how you get ready mentally. Athletes are so much better prepared yeah. than they were back in my day. We just, we just sort of, we're winging it. You know, there weren't, weren't the sports psychologists and all the little different nuances that the players go through now. They're smarter than we were. Well, smarter than I was. Jay Tackett. Late trip of the 10. Another strike. And he has found a gear. 
Derek Holman could bring. Some legends in the house, not just well, Marshall my, Holman, my, but... My good friend and fellow Oregonian, three-time U.S. Open champion, good Dave Husted, and it's great to see Dave. You know, we just, uh, we've been friends a long time. We were competitors, but, uh, yeah, great player. He won, I think, 95 and 96 back-to-back. -back. Fifth frame to cut it to one. Got it. Some early struggles. Second frame for Dom now in the rearview mirror with a turkey. He came in high, left that split. Got the ball further down the lane. Just chops out the 10 pin. Looks for the four bagger here. Sixth frame to take a lead. Tom Barron in the sixth. All ten back. Tom told us last night, success in your career is all about how you do in the majors. Well, here he is, 2018 U.S. Open in Wichita, head-to-head -head with E.J. Tackett. A great match. Conclusion comes your way next. Marshall, you look great the first couple frames, and then a couple shots to the right. What, what was happening? I honestly haven't thrown it good all, all week. I've just been really good at finding the miss room, and I just wasn't comfortable after that. I 210 in the third, and I just lost my, my just, I was uncomfortable, and then it showed. And then I finally found it again, and I mean, Dom shot 250. I mean, what can you do about that? Well, what are you gonna do to try and fix this? I know you were talking with your dad, and you've got a little bit of a fix, helped you out last night. Well, we got two months now, so I'm gonna really hit the lanes hard, and hit the gym hard again, and make sure I'm physically 100% before the tour starts and make sure I don't have this problem again. All right, stay positive, you'll be back. Thanks a lot, back to you, Dave. He sure will, Marshall, thank you. And Marshall Kent, thanks for your time. Marshall Kent in the gym five to six days a week, he told us last night. Fitness a big part of his game. But now he's a spectator watching E.J. Tackett. Second half of our second match, head to head with Don Barrett. Down by nine, but a chance to take the lead right back. Looks for the turkey. Tall oh, 10 back, E.J. Tackett. Blast through the rack. And those pins have no chance. Marshall back with us. Marshall can seem pretty positive despite a tough night. He is positive, but he did he did say that he's he's upset with himself. And uh, I, I get it. I, I told him, I said, listen, you know, don't be too hard on yourself for too long. You know, there's just get this thing fixed. You'll be back next year. It'll be, you'll be fine. What a great match we're having here between Tackett and Barrett. One pin separates these two competitors. EJ can take the, it back up to 11 with a strike here. Sure can. Looks for the four-bagger here, Marshall. Seventh frame. Back and forth we go. EJ Tackett. Boy, as good a shot 11. as... That's as good a shot as he's thrown the entire game. Watch this ball go down just outside the second arrow. Doesn't arc too far to the right and back perfectly. Twenty thirteen PBA World Championship. Who's gonna blink so first in this game? Yeah, the lone major for Dom. That could change here tonight in Wichita. Looks for the five bagger. And to cut it to one, which he does, tapping a 10. An impressive shot for the native of Colchester, England. It's interesting, these two players are playing different lines. Barrett further, further to the right on the lane, going more direct. EJ Tackett a little bit further left. Stat practice. That pack will break down the numbers for you. High scoring second game here. Yeah, it's been a it's been a difficult scoring condition the entire week, but uh, these are the best five that are remaining, and they're showing us why. Look for the six bagger. Go back up in the match. 
Can Dom Barrett stay hot? You bet. Oh, absolutely. Two classy players just exchanging punches. A lead change is Barrett by nine. Another textbook shot for Barrett. Six pin kicks out that ten. Boy, at the bowlers love to see that. Neither player getting too excited too early. There's lots of great shots that need to be thrown. Remainder of this game, that's got to hurry. It does, and it oh does. Oh, my, wow. that ball hurried back nicely. The ball speed, the red rate for A.J. Tackett crunches through the rack, off 10 back, takes the lead back with a five back. As long as E.J. keeps striking, there's nothing Barrett can do. Great shot from Tackett. 11 strikes in a row between these two. A strike streak going on here, Marsh. Now the foundation frame, Chris Prather, bowl collegially here in Wichita. For the Shockers, he is ready as the two seed awaiting the winner of this match. Attack it again. Uh oh Look at that ball come back. I'm, I'm telling you, I didn't think that was going to crack back to the pocket. He's got a little more room to the right than I thought he was going to have tonight. And you get to watch the when he gets a fistful of the ball. I mean, that's a lot of rev. But right now, I thought it's past the break point. But, oh, no, Marshall. You were wrong. Tackett was right. 12 in a row between these two. Back and forth. Is anyone going to blink? Well, Don Barrett cannot shut out E.J. Tackett. But he can sure make it tough on him. This again, it got it to one. Looks for a seven-bagger. Got it. These two are in a group. Impressive bowling here tonight in Wichita. Barrett just trying to stay loose, a little stretching, deep breathing. You know, he's only missed one time in this left-hand lane. He's going into the 10th frame of the second game. 268 a max for Barrett, 269 a max for Tackett. It could be that close. Let's find out what happens. Trying to stay hot. Another one. A uh, little, little extra speed. That, that shot reminded me of the, of the great Dick Weber. When he really needed a shot, he threw the ball a little harder and threw it a little straighter. Look how direct this ball goes down the lane. Now that forces EJ to get at least one strike in the 10th. These bowlers are putting on a clinic right now. And there could be a tie. That's certainly a mathematical possibility. He likes Another it. One for Dom. He yes. loves it. The 10 was leaning. It was thinking about it. And but down it goes. I'd jump out of my shoes if, if I was in that position throwing that shot. But Dom just as cool as can be. This ball hangs a little bit to the right. Messenger, no problem. That's part ball speed and part lift. Powerful shot. So Don's going to be oh, home cool. six of the next eight weeks. A lot of time for Colby and his family in England. He would like to bring home a big check and oh, a yeah. trophy back over the pond to Great Britain. But first, he's got to get by E.J. Tackett. Well, with a strike well here, here strike here, he forces Tackett to throw three strikes in the 10th to win by one. This has been a great match. Up against the ball return. Oh. That was left off his hand. That was no good at all. And now... Tackett still needs to get two strikes in the 10th, but the fill ball becomes academic with that six, with that four pins and count that are thrown away right there. Still a great game, 264. We'll take a look at this shot. The ball was just left off his hand. It was right through the heart all the way. Didn't get any kind of a break in pin action. Tackett needs two strikes in the 10th. A double and six. 
That's the what six, he needs. The six is the easy part. Got to have this one. He doesn't get it. The 10 stands on a great shot from EJ Tackett and on the bench, Dom Barrett. He's going to advance to take he knows, on Chris Craven. He knows how fortunate he is right now. Tackett, it was a great shot. Tackett, Tackett made a great shot, but watch the six pin. It's going to lay in the, in, the, in the channel. It does not pop out hard enough. It touches the 10 pin, but not enough to make it fall. That's a oh, terrible way to lose. Was a good shot. And some frustration there for EJ Tackett on that 10 pin. We bowled so well to get to the number three seed here at the U.S. Open in Wichita this year. And there goes that the hope for the triple crown. Yeah, that's what I was just going to say. And of course, is he the out of the race for Player of the Year now. Not, not totally. No, no. That was a that was a great game. Good sportsmanship from Tackett. Please give up one more time for EJ Tackett. So Don Barrett. Advancing up the ladder, Chris Prather, the two seed from Plainfield, Illinois, is next. What a matchup we had in our second game of the night. Barrett head to head with Tack in a strike fest, but in the end, Don Barrett, good enough to advance. Prather is next. Shockers are here, Marsh. The great Wichita Shockers. Clearly, they're rooting for their. Columbus. Well, yeah, and there's their their great coach Gordon Baddock, and been there, I believe, about 40 years, and, and done a great, coach. great job. Come on, ready to root on a shocker. Chris Prather's got the colors tonight. Representing. He does. He is representing the Shockers against Don Barrett, the four seed, who's won two matches in impressive fashion, knocking off Kent and Tackett, two of the world's best. Next up, Prather. Third game underway, Dom Barrett of England. And Dom Barrett made Ringing a big tackle. adjustment. He changed balls. He moved further to the left on the lane, chasing that transition. Left solid 10. Look how far to the left he is in the approach now. Ball tracking over about the 13 board. He was going over 5-6 in the first two games. And it looked like he made the perfect adjustment. Ten pin did not respond. Correct. First time head to head with Christopher Prater on TV for Don Barrett. And now steps we're, the two C. We're gonna get a chance to see who I think is one of the most aesthetically pleasing players to watch that we have on our tour. This man is smooth and powerful. Looking for his first career title. Imagine if it came tonight at a major. From Plainfield, oh, no. Illinois, Chris Prather steps up oh, yeah. and has a tap on the seven and that goes. And he's staying further to the right. Tom Barrett moved way left. Prather is staying to the right, and the Shockers are going nuts for him. We'll take a look at this beautiful form. Nice, solid push away. Just a little more than shoulder high. Got that wrist cup that develops the power. And very smooth. And he's a newlywed. He and Ashley were married a month ago. A month ago this yeah. could be a great honeymoon present. They haven't taken a honeymoon trip here. <laughs> Winning the U.S. Open. I mean, it's all set up. For a double. There you go. His second shot of the match. Shout out to him back. That looks good. Great start for Chris Prather. You know, I said, I said earlier that Prather was by far the dominant right-hander in this tournament. Nice low view of Prather. Beautiful release. Ball tracking down the lane nicely. It's the break point. Ten pin responds. There's your double. Very interesting to see Barrett make that big jump left, but we'll see how he does here in the second frame. He stays in that zone, and that went past the pocket. Fortunate just to leave the four pin. You know, even though Barrett made it through the last match, it really looked like E.J. Tackett was a bowler who was in more command. Just Barrett got the got the breaks with the with the pins falling. Not here as he leaves a four pin. Had nine straight strikes in that match with E.J. Tackett. Four pin. 
Hard and straight. Easy for Tom Barrett. Recent titles, we talked about the Japan Cup victory start of the season, also won in Germany in 2017. His breakdown. Not a lot of emotion with Don Barrett. No, he keeps him he keeps himself very, very centered. All right. Ball change coming up here. Made a good shot on this left lane, left the ringing 10. Now he's changing balls, get a little different, different break point. Hey, right. Great shot, 10 pin response that time. We could see Prather as he was, as he's waiting to, waiting to bowl, he was just sort of sitting there and smiling. We'll take a low view. Dom Barrett. Here it comes, and there it goes. Well, he told us last night that he and Del Ballard Jr., the Hall of Famer, have had a lot of conversations mm -hmm. about mental approach, and maybe he's just kind of going easy tonight. Pick up, pick up, pick up. Yeah. It's down. On seven, and down it goes. Any player who rolls a 300 game during tonight's telecast will receive a $10,000 bonus courtesy of GoBowling.com. Visit GoBowling.com to find Local bowling centers get tips from the pros and for all the latest news and information about your favorite sport, bowling. Prather's been hot. He, he bowled very well, made all the telecasts in the tournament in, in Tulsa just a couple of weeks ago. And maybe the bowling public doesn't know much about him, but his fellow competitors are much aware of Chris Prather. That's Looks to the front four. That's got a and hold. That went way high and missed the mark. Not yeah, well, six pin count. You had it exactly right. He missed his mark. That ball was left off his hand. It was short. Didn't get the projection down the lane. And now he leaves himself with a mess. The three six and the nine ten. Ball was at least three boards left of where he wanted to throw it, and really had no chance. This is no bargain, folks. <laughs> Got to get between the three and the six, have enough power to drive through to get that nine pin. Get the back one and the Let's right one. Let's see cover. He yeah. does nicely. Excellent cover. That's a really good spare for Chris Prater facing his first adversity here in this major championship show. 17. <clears throat> Barrett working on a strike, can cut it to seven. Oh, the wow. tap on the 10 pin, boy, it wiggles and somehow stands up. Yeah, reminiscent <laughs> of the last shot by E.J. Tackett in the 10th frame, previous game, flat 10. By moving further to the left, he's compromising his, his carry in that zone because his ball has to go further to the right before it makes the break back. Just didn't have enough power to knock it down. Good cover. There's a 10 pin, there's his mark. Now Dom told us last night, Marsh, this wasn't my best year. I know I won Japan and we talked earlier right. about the fact he didn't want to look too far ahead even in our discussion last night mm -hmm. about winning the Savannah or a player of the year. But now his third match, he's bowled so well here tonight. What a way to finish out the season if we can take it here. Now this is more than just a tournament, it's, it's the Open, mm. the U.S. Open, so it here. holds it holds a lot more weight. Plus it's fresh in the voters' minds. <laughs> that was the deck and the 10 pin is not getting nudged, so it's dance. That was an odd-looking carry. The ball, the ball just is going past the break point a little bit. You'll watch it. It just doesn't make the move soon enough. And, and a very, yeah, almost the 8-10 standing for a while. It's a very odd-looking carry. He makes it. Nothing too tough to tackle for former NFL running back Tiki Barber and co-host Brandon Tierney. Get all the sports debate and expertise you need from Tiki and Tierney weekdays starting at 3 Eastern 
on CBS Sports Network. Fifth frame. Prather works needs, on a spare. Needs to get back to making good shots again. Oh, come on. That's much better, much better off his hand. You know, the shot in the previous frame was just a matter of missing his mark as we take another look at Gordon Vatican, who's, who's smiling at one of his great protégés. I was talking with Gordon Vatican earlier today, and he was saying that, you know, he really didn't have to do much for, with Chris Prather. He, he came in into his program with a lot of gifts. Go bowling roll to the finals for Chris <laughs> Prater, Marsh. Well, you can see he was great early, and then in round six and seven, he was caught by, and he was caught and then passed by a mile by Jacob Butler. Up, 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 better up, up. shot, much better shot. I think, I think Prater wants to get excited, but he knows it's not quite time. Keeping his emotions. In check so far, five strike, six frame for Chris Prater. Bowling in front of so many shocker players and fans. Good match tonight. Golden Corral's. Francois Lavoie from Quebec, Canada. 2016 U.S. Open champion in Las Vegas. Unforgettable, the 300 game on route to the title. Great memories in USBC and PBO bowling history. People are pretty excited about that, including Francois Lamar, 2016 U.S. Open champion. Marshall Holman now joined by E.J. Tech. Thank you, Dave. Now, what was your thought process of both of playing a little bit deeper than Dominic and, and with your ball choice? Well, the, uh, the Moto Venom shock that I was using, I started using when we got onto this pattern. And uh, it was the ball that I felt like I'd hit the one in the front with the best. And as the... Um, tournament progressed it got better and better and better so when I got to the show it was definitely going to be the ball that I was going to throw all right and the shot in the 10th frame the flat 10 it looked to me like it just got a little bit further down the lane more length yeah I mean I was fighting that all week um, I, I just tried to make sure that I got my ball in the oil so that I didn't 210 like I made sure I missed it to the left because I, I 210 so many times this week I made sure that shot wasn't it wasn't going to happen that shot and um, I did the best that I could and you know Pin, all the pins didn't fall, but, you know, that's bowling. It was, it was a great match. You entertained the crowds. You Absolutely. looked very confident. We know you'll be back soon. Thanks for your time. Thanks, Marshall. All right, Dave, back to you. Great champion, E.J. Tackett out of Indiana. Not his night to take home the 2018 U.S. Open. So up steps Dom Barrett from Colchester, England, down by 28 pins. Head to head with Chris Prather from Plainville, Illinois, and a Wichita State grad. He's a hometown hero here tonight. <clears throat> Ball change. Marshall works out pretty well for Don Barrett. Yeah, well, he's, you know, he's such a quality player. He's such a good shot maker. And, and you, you have to think your way through these matches. So he's, he's made another change. You know, he had that time during the commercial to talk to his ball reps, maybe get an idea of what he could do to get his ball to get tracked into the pocket properly. It's not enough just to hit the one-three pocket. It's got to be going in at the right angles. Important shot right here for Barrett. Can cut the lead down to 18 pins and let Chris Prather know that uh, he's still there. Really clean match. Huge shot. Cut it to 18 pins. You bet. Couldn't have been any better. Big strike for Dom Barrett. Ten back in the pit, those pins had no chance. You see Barrett playing a little bit inside the second arrow. Started out first couple matches playing around the first arrow. Not unusual to see the players, as I call, chase the shot in. Up the lane. As the as the lanes start to transition, the oil starts to dissipate, they move in looking for fresher oil. Hold on. Another good shot from Prather. I'm telling you, the guy, he's, he is a fine, fine young bowler. Two years at Wichita State, and Chris told us last night in our discussion, Marshall, that he knows this bowling center so well, he's been here so often. 
that he has a good feel for what each lane is going to do. All of them. Right, and he's comfortable. He's, he's comfortable in the building. You know, one of the things you have to do when you come to to a different bowling center is because of the the pros go from 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 stop to stop, is become comfortable in that environment. And and he's got that before he walks in here. Home Just lane advantage. Cut up into 38 pins. Eight frame. Oh no, that's, that's left. Four that's bagger. left. It's a high shot, and just a six could have been a lot worse. That's, you that's, heard the reaction. That's the second time wow. that he's cut it short Might be doing on that left-hand lane, and he yet. knew he knew immediately, and he was going, oh no, and really, just Jeez. a six pin. That's not a bad outcome, but it certainly gives life to Dom. Target. Coach Vatican watches. Oh, my God. Oh, he missed it. Oh, no. You know, he's... This is... Oh, well, that's just... Absolutely it. shocking. Yeah. You, you just don't... You don't expect that. He's he's messing with his with his slide. Looks like... Let's see if he does have, does have trouble and sticks at the line. He still well, bounced there. Not there, much. Not, not much. much, but I just... You should never miss the six pin. It's just... So and here what comes a pivotal Dom time with a chance. We knew he'd take advantage throughout the evening, beating Marshall Kent, then EJ Tackett. Now looks for the turkey to cut it to five. Mm. Oh. Ten pin. Oh my. He did the professional thing. You know, all you can do when you bowl in a televised match is just you have to tell yourself, let's make 10 quality shots. This was a quality shot. 10 pin doesn't respond, but you know, right now Prather has made two really poor shots in that left hand lane. And he's got to go back there for his 10th frame. Prather does. Barrett down by 16. This guy's 10 pin has got his mark to keep things neck and neck here in match number three. Jacob Buttrip, our top seed, the lefty, awaits the winner. You know, not only does that open frame cost him 11 pins or more, but it, it it's a shock to the body. I mean, it, that, that'll freak you out a little bit on a Halloween night or any, any other night for any that night. matter. <laughs> any night. Is this Jacob's night? First things first, let's determine his opponent. Foundation frame, Dom Barrett, all 10 back, 60 feet to success for Barrett. <laughs> that was a heck of a shot there. Well timed. Got to be a little bit upset that that 10 pin didn't carry in the eighth frame, but this shot right here, beautifully thrown and high flush, just splits the eight and the nine. Watch the ball go through the eight and nine, bang. Yeah, he's shaking his head because of that 10 pin. And if Prather can throw two strikes, it's over. They got, they got, How does they he respond? Go! It's Just going! Half on the 10 it's and down going. it goes late. Some help across the deck. And the Shockers love it. A huge strike for Prather. Now we'll take one more look at it. This is the tickle shot. And goodbye. Here's the key shot right here. He's had two good ones and two bad ones on this left hand lane. One good one. Strike and eight to win. One quality shot right here. A strike oh for the victory. Lord, Chris Prather. Right there. Not there. That Three leaves it six. open, leaves it open for Barrett. If, if Prather makes this and then strikes for 223, Barrett can strike out for 227. So he'd need, he would need two strikes and I believe eight, seven. It looks like Prather is a little afraid to throw the ball too far to the right. So he's pulling it on that left-hand lane. Three out of five shots. And this is no bargain of a spare. He makes it. 
And for Prather right now, this match should be over because you're not supposed to miss a six pin. If he makes that six pin, it's game done. Calls for a re-rack here. A little time. I think the uh, this re-rack just to settle his nerves. It's um, I'm not sure. Seems like an odd time to re-rack. <sighs> the door is open for Don Barrett to step up in the tenth and win this match. And he made a great shot the last time in the lane left the ten pin. There you go. That's better. All right, didn't it hook. comes cool. a little light, but that was, it was a little better shot. And I was saying earlier that the, the reason why a pro might pull the ball is because he's afraid it's not going to come back if he swings it. Two strikes and six. And Barrett will be bullying against Jacob Buttruff. 222 for Britt. Double and six pins. Anything less? He's just trying to make the same. Prather's win. Trying to make the same shot he made last time on this lane. Except carry the 10 pin. Don Barrett. Has got to have this one. One Ooh. down. One to go. Light hit. Takes him down. And a little applause from Chris Prather. And if I'm Chris Prather, I think I'm going to lose. I, I think it's over. Because you gave him such a huge break. But Barrett needs to come up and perform in the 11th frame here. Must strike. For the last two matches, of right down the wire. It's been fun. Chris can't watch. The shockers will let him know. Needs it. Gets Could it. Could not have Dog thrown it better. Barrett. That's a, a great huge, shot. Huge, huge strike. Well, a star from Great Britain. I'll tell you what, this and is going to be six away. This is going to be a very tough pill to swallow for Christopher Prather to, to know that that six pin is the reason why you're not bowling for the U.S. Open Championship. Oh, I, oh. That's heartbreaking. And and gut I, wrenching all the same yeah, time. And, and I'm not sure if I'm Don Barrett right now. I just don't go to the middle of the lane and throw the high hard one right down the center. I don't, don't even mess with it. If he gets a little soft with it, he could go through the he could go through the nose and get like the, the big five or I mean I just throw it hard. He's gonna have six. No, he's playing a shot. And he gets nine That's and he gets a win. Beautiful way to go. <laughs> Tremendous bowling for both Prather and Don Barrett in the end. From Colchester, England, Don Barrett, 226, 222 victor over Christopher Prather. And he will bowl the top seed, Jacob Buttrick here in Wichita, the 2018 U.S. Open Championship. Barrett trying to climb the ladder all the way to the top. Championship match is next. Barrett had that enormous shot. And coming up in the 10th frame, it's part Marshall of our BPA moment of the match. Had a double, get six pins, he did. You know, he just, he stepped up and performed when all the pressure was on. Great shot, first ball of 10th. This shot, unbelievable, high flush. And then the fill ball was really academic. His opponent, Jacob Buttriff, and with one of the more interesting deliveries on tour, Jacob has certainly made a name for himself on the lane. Let's find out a little bit more about what keeps Jacob motivated to win. Growing up, I, I was definitely the shy kid, you know. Uh, didn't really talk too much to a lot of people. Obviously, with the, the last name Buttriff, it was definitely needed to be picked on. A lot of times I felt like bowling was an escape growing up because of the fact that I enjoyed it so much. It always made me happy. Like, it made me get my mind off of things, that, like just any issues I've had. When I hit high school, it was a little different of a journey because I traveled so much with bowling, you know? Got to meet more people and now I'm a social butterfly. The way 
my view is, is that I have my own personal view and you know if people you know want to treat me different just because of the way I throw it that's all their problem here is that unorthodox release we told you about the quick approach I could possibly go. I want to be known as one of the best all time in our sport, and I want to continue proving that I can compete as a professional bowler, no matter what it takes. It's unconventional, but it sure is effective. Jacob Buttrip, Tom Barrett. Head to head championship match, the 2018 U.S. Open from Wichita, Kansas. It's on the way. Well, Dominic Barrett, he's been he's been the man for the first three matches: 258, 203, 264, 248. That exciting match against DJ Tackett, and then Chris Prather missing that six pin. Barrett wins 226, 222. Now, I've been saying all along, I think it's Buttrip's tournament. We'll find we'll out. Find we'll find, we'll find, we'll find, we'll find, we'll find out. He's Marshall Holman, 22-time PBA Tour titles, Hall of Famer, and I'm Dave Ryan. Lane level, we are watching. Championship match underway from Wichita. Great start for Barrett. First couple games, Barrett playing around five board. Last game in this game, he's in closer to the third arrow. Be interesting to see how this young man starts this match. He has been the dominator when it comes to early rounds on this particular condition. Top seed. First shot. And right out the chute, a bad shot leaves the two, two and seven. the seven. You could see him motioning with his arm. Didn't like the way he got out of the ball. We've chronicled, chronicled it a lot, the interesting, unique form of Jacob Buttrip, but all it does is work. You can, you can see he's motioning that that wasn't right. Important. Not and a miss. good and not a very fun way to start out this title match, young man. Two years in a row with 600 pin leads running away from the field. Um, this is a very important game for Jacob Butter because I, I know from experience the kind of mental baggage that televised bowling can give you, both in a good way and in a bad way. Out of Chandler, Arizona, 24 years old. Four career PBA Tour titles. Two have come this season. That's more like it for Jacob Buttrip using a pearl urethane ball. He does not, he doesn't like to use reactive equipment. We'll take a look at this very unusual style. Not a lot of backswing at all, fast feet. He gets his hand in a position that nobody in bowling can because he's, he's double jointed. It's 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 phenomenal that his hand can do that. And then he just really rips around the back of the ball. Gets it to come back to the pocket. How will Dom respond? Oh, solid shot, nine. nine. Oh, that hurts. <laughs> that is part of the new game of bowling. We'll take a look at the ball as it just goes right past the nine pin. Wasn't even close. It was a perfect shot. But the balls are so strong, they give you a lot, and then they take away a little as well. Solid nine is evidence of that. Easy spare. Good break for Buttruff. Still an 11 pin Sorry. early second frame lead. Dom Barrett. How does it feel if you're Dom in that situation to see your opponent open early? It feels good. <laughs> it does. <laughs> At least, I mean, it. Does it change it, your mindset? No. No. It, it, no, it just, it, it just has to, it heightens your focus. Because, okay, there's a break for me. I need to take advantage.
Let's see if he can. Third frame, all ten back. Looking very strong through three frames. Two strikes and a solid nine. He has control of the pocket right now. And Buttrip is struggling. Take another look at this ball. Cuts right through the pins. A year ago, Flamingo Bowl, Liverpool, New York outside Syracuse. Jacob Buttrip, the huge lead, record setting lead. But he's also out there with a couple lefties in Graham Faw and eventual champ Rhino Page. Only oh my gosh, here. that almost went off the lane. But it and is. Recovers <laughs> nicely to the one two pocket. Wow. All 10 back. And a great shot for Buttrup. Watch this ball as it gets on the lip. The lip being the one board. It's on it right there. But it's coming back. So the lanes marshal were altered quite a bit by the other lefties in the show last year. This year he's the lone southpaw. How's right. So, so the, the lanes the lane should be very much like they were in practice for him. There shouldn't be much change at all. We take a look at his position by round. He started out slow, but then the third round really picked it up. And and once they changed to this to this condition, he was unbeatable. Solid six pin. Was 256, 222 last year at Rhino Page in the championship match. A low look at Jacob Buttrip as his ball just creeps in just a bit high. You know, and after you throw the ball all the way to the lip like you did the previous frame, it's it's natural to pull the next one a little bit. He likes to hook at these. Very unusual. Most professional bowlers like to go hard and straight with single pin spares. Buttrip likes to hook at the spares on the right hand side of the lane. 552 pin lead heading into the show as the number one seed. 617 pins last year. It's incredible in Liverpool, New York. But unable to finish the deal. How about tonight? Head to head with Don Barrett. Second in 2015. Ryan Simonelli won that year. Also lefty. Coming off the solid nine on this lane. Will he move a little bit left? Get it longer down the lane? Wants to go up by 12 pins. He'll Boy. do just that with a strike. There's that shot where you split the eight and the nine pin. That's perfection. Watches his ball rolls down the lane. Doesn't hook as soon as the last time. And that's what that's what the bowler wants. You want to see the ball hitting the eight and the nine, because then nothing can stand. Prior major 2013 World Series of Bowling World Championship. Love to make it number two tonight here in Wichita. Turkey here puts him up 22 pins. Fifth frame. Uh oh. That's got a hold. Nope, he and didn't look like at the, no, no, he didn't like it. Right off his I'm hand, three, six, nine, that. ten. That's why I call that the double penalty because not only don't you get the strike, but now you leave yourself a very, very difficult spare to try and convert. Ball's going right through the heart. We saw this picked up earlier tonight. Need to get the ball in between the three and the six, but have enough power to get that nine pin as well. He's going hard and straight at it. And, and he, does he not misses the 10. It's an open frame for Don Bear. Wow, a huge mistake. We'll take another look. He throws hard and straight. And he chops that 10 pin off. It's, it's such a difficult spare. It's hard to make it no matter how you try to make it. Because there's so many different ways you can miss it. So Barrett returns the favor. Right, and a big break for Jacob Buttriff. Let's see if he can take advantage. There's a solid seven pin, a seven. really good looking shot. He liked it. He's happy with that shot. We'll take another look at, at Buttriff. Ball rolling down the lane nicely. The four pin's gonna go around the seven. It's just the ring and ten pin for the lefties. It's the seven. Trying to become the first bowler since Pete Weber. 
There's a straight spare yeah. shot. Takes care of the seven to win the U.S. Open after being a runner-up one year. 87-88 for PDW. And the latter, his championship on Jacob Buttruff would like to add his name yeah. to that part of bowling history here tonight. I remember that tournament in 87. That's the one I led by a lot, and Pete beat me. I wasn't going to bring that it up. It happens. <laughs> <laughs> Since we mentioned it. Yeah. Sorry. Buttruff with a three-pin lead. And getting some help from his opposition. Strike in the sixth. And Buttruff, a lead on Barrett. A U.S. Open championship on the line tonight. This is not... Now, those are some outstanding jack lanterns on Halloween here. I mean, Darth Vader. Look at Darth Vader up there. Yeah, I, that's outstanding. I can guarantee you that I Elvis, Elvis is in the, house. In the building. He has not left the building. I love it. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Halloween night. That's right. You dressed as Elvis, and we showed you. See, it pays. I guarantee you, I didn't carve any of those jack o' lanterns. Those were done by experts. Yeah. That was something else. All right, here we go. Six frame, down by three, off and open for Donald Barrett. The second half of the last game. A championship on the line here tonight. Only missed the pocket once. Oh, there's that solid nine again. Oh, that's two of them. He's got to make a little bit of an adjustment for what looks like a perfect shot. We'll take another look at it. Watch the balls. It just goes right past the nine pin. That used to be such a rarity back in my day, but it's fairly commonplace in today's game, especially for a high rev player like Don Barrett. Easy spare. He's got that. Yeah, I think an he's opportunity to make up a lot of ground. I think he's thinking about whether or not he needs to make a ball change for that lane. Would you in this situation? Um, I probably wouldn't. But then again, I'd probably finish second. You can see Tom Clark back there. He's just, he loves watching bowling. I mean, he, he's the CEO of the PBA, but he's a fan. They're right. They're seeing some very really compelling action tonight. Quiet here now. Another big shot. Seven frame. Yeah. And that was a ball okay. change, and he leaves a 3, 6, 9, 10 again. Mm -hmm. And can we say that this is looking better for Jacob Buttruff? Oh, yes. Definitely made a ball change. Yeah, Didn't get it far enough to the right. I think that particular ball, it, it, that was pulled, but I don't think it finishes quite as hard as the other one. I think he's trying to get away from that going through the pocket, leaving that nine pin. Three, six, nine, ten. Lots of cover here for Barrett. And he hooks, it. It, he hooks it that one. He changed his methodology for picking that up. Instead of going hard and straight at it, he went for the hook, and it paid off. Okay, seven pin match. But here comes Buttrip. You can see strike. the change in his methodology there. Instead of hard and straight, he goes for the power to make that spare. <laughs> On a strike. Oh boy. And with a chance on, to Jacob. extend the lead, One a chance to he leaves the seven. two, the four, and the seven. And all of a sudden, these high-scoring matches have become very low as that ball was just short off his hand. What I mean by that is it, it, it hooks too soon. He didn't get the length down the lane. And that's, that's nerves. Big spare, tough spare. He Covers makes it. Nice it. All right, Marshall, you're a two-time US Open champ. Tell us about the pressure being in this moment for these two bowlers. Well, you have to forget about what will happen if you win or lose and just and just stay in that moment and just try and make good shots just all you can do is make one good shot at a time it's too cliche even to say but um, for Buttruff it is just a matter of quality shots he still has the seven pin advantage 
if they both strike out, he's your U.S. Open champion. His mother watches. She's got to be more nervous than he is. I guarantee it. That looked better. <laughs> you know, they're both great players, but they're... This is crunch time. Great shot from Buttruff. Time is now for Don Barrett. And he'd certainly love to, love to get this championship and, and be able to go home to his wife and new baby. Correct. Another ball change for Barrett. Eight for him. Huge shot, Don Barrett. Ten back. Eight yep. of Beautiful shot that definitely changed changed his path down the lane, gave him a little more length down the lane. Answers the moment, Marshall, with a huge shrug. Yeah. All right. That's pretty good. Yeah, I got it. The game is so much more complicated than it was back in my day. It's, you know, it, when I was bowling, you, you put the, the ball in your hand and you did your best to make it work. Now you have to do that, but you also have to be a little bit of a rocket scientist to figure out what ball to use at what time. Barrett can strike out for 220, Butcher for 227. This is for a double. He's got a double. And the three pin and that lead. Is how you start the foundation frame and a huge strike. The double in the eighth and ninth for Don Barrett, and now a lead. Buttrip's going back to the right-hand lane. He left the 2-7 in the first frame, did not pick it up, and he left the 2-4-7 the last time on this lane. Got to trust this shot. To regain the lead. Ninth frame. Looked much better off his hand. It's just a matter of trusting what you have. and and. When it comes down to crunch time, that's not a very easy thing to do. How oh, far that ball went down the lane before it started hooking. Yes. Double and four to shut out Don Barrett and to win the 2018 U.S. Open. That is what Jacob Buttriff needs. I think he better get him, too. You don't want to give Don Barrett an opportunity to get up in 10th frame and win this tournament. He needs to get it done now. Seven, ten, seven, ten, split. No, well, fortunately, the ten. Fortunately, the seven pin and falls. That was an incredible moment. But well, he made a good shot. We'll take another look at it. This ball's going to hit the one-two pocket, and looks good right there. But ten pin, no way. And the messenger just just does get the enough. seven pin. There's a great angle right there to look at the pin action. Oh, goodness. And that hit's been striking for him all week. He likes so, to hook at this. A 10 pin, he will hook at, and he'll take care of business. All right, so with a spare. it's gonna, this next shot is, is not ultra important. It's just a matter of Barrett getting up and striking the first ball in the 10th. I think if you were to ask Jacob Butter, if he would not be real satisfied with how he bowled this game. And yet still has a chance to be your 2018 U.S. Open champion. That's how you finish. Uh, 206 is his final score. Now up steps Dauber. Well, chance to win the U.S. Open. And you know, I, I picked, I picked Buttrip to win this tournament, but I don't see Don Barrett not making a great shot here. It may not carry, but I think this is going to be a very good shot. He's been in this position many times worldwide. He knows how to control his emotions. 
can he figure out a way to get 10 pins down? It all comes down to this. He has got to have this strike. He gets it. Dom Barrett, all 10 back. And now nine pins between Dom Barrett and the U.S. Open Championship. Just perfect execution at crunch time and not surprised. If Barrett gets seven on this and then makes a spare, 207, 206. He needs one more shot, solid in the pocket. Aim, set, match. Nine pins. Come the on. US Open Championship. He's got eight. All right. Let's grab the handful of that one. He just needs one, correct? He needs to get the, the four okay. or the six. Small 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 it'll be a one pin victory. And that'll wrap it up. Buttriff knows. Buttriff right now feels his chances of winning are somewhere between zero and it isn't going to happen. Oh. Oh my God, he, he almost shot. missed it. Oh got my it. God. He's got himself the 2018 U.S. Oh Open God. Championship. He almost. I hit the, By a whisker, dare I say, Barrett, oh, he almost so choked it off. Has so become a major champion in Wichita here tonight. His second major championship, and Marshall Holman, he barely got it. By that much. Absolutely incredible. And Dom Barrett is bringing the trophy home. This year. Big thanks to, to England. National track. Turbo, Dexter, Strike Tom Barrett, a winner in Wichita, Kansas the USBC, tonight. BBAA, PBA for allowing us to do what we do our best and be professional bowlers. Amazing. Thank you so much. On a Barrett has added his name to the list of U.S. Open champions as he climbs the ladder. Marshall Kent, E.J. Tackett, Chris Prather, and the top seed, Jacob Buttrip, en route to his second career major championship. Marshall Holman joined by our champion. All right, thank you, Dave. On behalf of the BPAA, Scott McLaughlin with the coat emblematic of winning the U.S. Open 2018. And for Dominic, what, what's with that conversion of the four and the six? I've been uh, making absolutely everything this week, so just try and... Let's get this jacket on you, kid. Yeah, still managed to make the six pin, I guess. Just about. It's a lot harder than uh, trying to make it throughout the week. But um, thank you so much. I have to say a big thanks to USBC, BPAA for having us, Frank DeSocio and Kathy. Obviously, my sponsors, Track, Everlight International, Dexter Turbo. And just got to get us in there. My wife at home, I don't know if she stayed up with our little boy who's 10 weeks old, but uh, I can't wait to get home. To well, see I'm sure. And we have Karen and, and uh, Brent, congratulations to, to North Rock Lanes for what a great tournament. Uh, Dom, on behalf of uh, North Rock Lanes, the Joe Bowling Company, you did what you needed to do when you needed to do it. We couldn't be more proud to hang your jersey in our spare lounge for the rest of time. And Karen? Congratulations, Dom, on behalf of the United States Bowling Congress. Congratulations. Nice bowling. Thank you so much. Thank you. You made a big move after the, after the second game. You went from playing that outside trajectory around five board to moving inside the second and third. What was your thought process? That's really from bowling to uh, this pattern the last sort of three, four days, trying to understand how it develops. And obviously with the TV lights, they weren't quite as bright as other times been on TV. But um, seeing where EJ was bowling, what I was uh, kind of set up to do, big thanks to Sean Ryan, Rob Godshaw, and Mike Snellbaker as well, getting my equipment set up that I could go and do that, even in that last game. I had uh, bad memories from about three years ago with nine pins. So we changed ball then too and just about worked. Well, it's going to make for a great flight back to England to your wife and your, your new child. Congratulations, your 2018 U.S. Open champion. Right. Thanks so much. And thank you, Wichita, my new favorite city in the U.S. All right. Back to you, Dave. Marsh, thanks so much. Congratulations going out to Dom.